This Hasselblad is a camera with history. It has been in my family for over 40 years. It belonged to my grandfather, who I'm actually named after, who passed away when I was a very young child. I have no real memory of him. I didn't even really know he was that into photography. I always thought I got the photography fever from my dad, but apparently he received it from his father as well. After my grandfather passed away, this camera went to my uncle, who traveled the world with it and used it a lot as well. The last few years, my dad had the camera, but he doesn't really shoot that much film anymore. More, so I was like, how's that hustle blood? Dad, mind if I just mind if I take it for, you know, can I just, you know? So here it is, hustle blood, medium format film. That is something different than using a Ricoh GR3. Luckily, I have a buddy in Rotterdam who was able to help me get up to speed using this camera. Shout out to the analog film geek. Together we have shot my very first roll of Tri-X and I want to take you through my shots. My first lesson was a harsh one. I have two backs for this camera. I thought both backs are square, but as it turns out, one is landscape oriented. So some of my shots from my first roll of film were, well, ruined. Sometimes you learn the hard way. So let's talk about the first roll of film I actually shot on the Hasselblad. As I said, some shots I like and some shots are just a little bit ruined because I didn't know I was not shooting in the square format. Uh, my buddy Julian was kind enough to take me to Rotterdam and showing me the basics and learning me some tips and tricks when it comes to shooting with a camera like this. So let's jump on the top down rig and I will show you some of my shots. This is actually the first shot I took I just think it's a very clean, basic shot. The very first shot I took uh, and I really like it. After that we did some walking and I saw some girls sitting uh, on the side of the Maas, the river Maas, underneath the Erasmusbrug as we say. Um, but as you can see I chopped her feet off and I did not get that much of the background uh, as I was hoping. So this shot is one of the shots I consider, uh, well, a little bit ruined. Here, same thing, chopping the guy's feet off, which is not really what I intended and hoped for. And then we met some people and uh, started talking with them, explaining the fact that we are shooting with uh, a vintage camera and they were like okay let's take some portraits and this is a portrait that came out pretty nice in my opinion um, did two shots one where where she had a little bit more headroom but as you can see i chopped off the glass again so i think this one is better and they actually wanted to pose for me and this is where i really feel bad about not having uh, the shot i hoped for because this is just well unusable as you can see then I wanted to test a little bit of the uh, contrast between the shadows and the highlights. What I am used to is very dark shadows. And as you can see from this particular scan that the shadows are a little bit washed out. Uh, the whole image is a little bit overexposed in my opinion. We walked underneath the Erasmusbrug. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but I like the composition and I like the style of this image, but again, it is just a little bit overexposed. This is a street image I really like. I really like the lines here, the bridge over here, and then two girls walking. And this is an image where the horizontal format actually works a little bit in my benefit, in my opinion. Then we did a little bit of a scenery. Um, again, I like it. It's very painterly. As you can see, there are some some details in the sky over here. It is a little bit washed out, but I don't really mind because that's that's the feel of the film, I guess. And after that, we wanted to do a double exposure. He wanted to show me how to do a double exposure, but as you can see, I took the first shot and then I winded the film and I should not have done that. So it's not a double exposure, it's a single exposure of exactly nothing. <laughs> So those are the first few shots I shot on Tri-X, black and white film. Some shots I really like and some shots are just ruined. But what I really learned is that I come home with different images than when I'm shooting digital. Because you look for different types of compositions. Uh, you have to slow down and you really have to compose your shots. And that is something that I really like. 
Now, I have a roll of Portra 400 color film. So let's go to Rotterdam, load it up, and let's see if we can take some nice shots. to fall apart Lose myself and give my heart away Come and go in shady places mm -hmm. I used to sit and stare Now the light runs through my lashes It's taken 40 years, blood, sweat, and tears. Twine now, you can't save time. Run along, kids. You two will be more than pants one day. You are the love. I can't show you how to start to find your way. I like the old fashioned way. Give me that. Shooting with a Hasselblad camera is really something different. It's a slower, much more deliberate process. The way it feels and sounds and operates, it all feels so mechanical and basic. I just, I, I just, I love it. Just listen to that. Just listen to that sound. I really like the fact that you have to slow down to really compose your shots. Also, with this particular camera being in my family for such a long time, being handed down from my grandfather to my uncle to my father, and now I get to shoot with it, pressing the same shutter button as they have, uh, well, that's just something special. And I really cannot wait to go out with it and shoot with it again. If you have any recommendations about film types uh, I should explore, feel free to drop them in the comments below. In this video, I used Tri-X and I used Kodak Portra 400. Um, and I'm relatively new to this whole film game. So if you have any film types you would like to see me using in the Hasselblad, feel free to drop it in the comments below and I will make sure I will try that particular film stock as well. If you aren't already a subscriber of this YouTube channel, uh, as of late I'm making weekly videos. So hit the bell notification, subscribe, hit the like button, all the good stuff to help me build out this YouTube channel because we're trying to do some positive stuff and uh, uh, enjoy photography together. Well, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week. Peace.